Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a Windows 10 mini PC. Windows 10, but we can update it to Windows 11, of course. And it has some really interesting features which I will share with you. I don't know if you follow my Instagram account. If you don't, I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. I did share a few images because I was starting to do the unboxing and I'll show some images here as well. And what I did was the unboxing where I did take the mini computer computer and the accessories that we have inside the box but as usual I did went further ahead and I started to see some screws and then I start to unboxing the old mini computer and it's really interesting it has this top case right over here that we can lift with this lever and it will reveal a area that we can put a hard drive or SSD 2.5 inches right over here but if we unscrew uh, the screws that we have on the bottom then we can release grill that it's right over here and then we can access the bottom part and what we can see right over there it's a m.2 SSD 256 gigs in this particular version that I'm testing out I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the several models that are available and prices and whatnot if down the line you want to upgrade your SSD later on you can just replace the m.2 ssd now in terms of the design itself what i have to say is that i actually like it this is a plastic enclosure but it's a nice plastic it looks good it feels good it's not glossy so there will not be much fingerprints right over here as these really nice grills golden grills right over here that look like metallic grills but they are plastic they look really nice and then here at the front it has a led that lights blue when the computer is on and then if we put it to sleep or hibernate it will go to red which looks really really good now in terms of connectivity we will have on the left hand side a power button two usb 3.0 and one usb 2.0 and then at the back we will find a cassington lock audio out gigabit ethernet two hdmi outputs one usb 2.0 and a power input jack and then on the left side a vga and that is it in terms of connectivity now in terms of specifications it has a intel celeron j 4125 this is the gemini lake cpu family and it has eight gigabytes of ram and as i said a m.2 256 gigs but this will depend on the model in terms of benchmarks just really quickly what we will find right over here is that on wi-fi we will get roughly 200 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload geekbench with 430 on single core score and 1400 on multi-core score so that you can compare with other machines the ssd writes at 240 megabytes per second and reads up to 560 megabytes per second and the hdmi outputs that has two will go up to 4k at 60 hertz but at this moment i'm using the aoc gaming monitor the agon pro so we can get up to 244 hertz in this particular case we will get a maximum at 2k of 120 hertz in terms of performance this is a capable mini computer if you want to use it for multimedia for example you want to put it on your living room or on your bedroom office whatever you want to play it then you will be just fine if you want to use apps like Netflix or Disney. Actually, I did test out with both uh, using a 2K display and they just work fine. As you can see, the CPU almost no sweat at all. So you can use more demanding apps and no problem at all. Now to test out the decoding capabilities of the CPU, I did use Kodi so that it will decode the videos with the CPU power and of course the hardware that it's available right over here and no issues at all transcoding files that are available on my network and using the wi-fi it was able to transcode 1080 blu-ray mkv files without any issues whatsoever one of the advantages is that we can install the plex server right over here just put in our movie library on the extra ssd or mechanical hard drive enclosure right over here and we will have a multimedia center which is really capable in terms of performance it will be more than capable to handle a Plex server and if you are using machines at home that the server doesn't need to transcode a lot then it will be more than fine for those of you that are not familiar with this kind of machine you will be able to do any kind of work with Word, Excel, PowerPoint 
Teams, uh, Zoom if you want to do video calls and if you want to connect a webcam for example you'll be more than fine. If you want to play some games then this is a more complicated area. As we know this is an integrated GPU on the CPU so it's like this computer right over here that I've got a Mac Mini for example or my MacBook Pro sitting right over there recording the audio of this video at this moment. All machines without a dedicated GPU. So the kind of game that we will be able to play are light games. One of the examples is Asphalt 9 Legends, which is a really nice game, but it's a light game. So that kind of game we can download, install, no issues whatsoever. But if we want to play more demanding games, then my suggestion is a service that I use, which is the Xbox Cloud Gaming. And there are other services, but this I'm really enjoying. It's really, really nice. We will be able to play AAA titles right over here without sweating because the game is run on this particular case Microsoft servers so we only need a network connectivity a nice display a gamepad and we will enjoy the game now I did play around with Forza Horizon but if you want to play Battlefield or similar games you will be more than fine and if you want to check out the Xbox cloud gaming that I did test out a link right over here and that is it so in conclusion it is a interesting mini computer it has this lever right over here that we can just move ahead and put an ssd or hard drive inside the design i really enjoy it just the vga port right over here which it's useful in some cases classrooms and things like that where we need to plug in a vga okay if we want hdmis then we have to right over here and then plenty of connectivity with a interesting design and a nice lab at the front. This is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.